We're looking at dead western red cedar trees. So there's western red cedar and big leaf maple here with the yellow leaves. And these uh, western red cedar died in 2017 and 2018 following a string of really hot and dry summers. A lot of other areas in the western United States have found evidence of hot drought killing trees. And here in the Pacific Northwest, where it's generally cooler and quite a bit wetter, we're finding evidence that this extended drought during the summer for multiple years is causing mortality. And I think it's four miles. The expectation from our results is that we will see more and more mortality of western red cedar moving forward. Yeah. On to sea level. Uh huh. But mostly it's of that age. Right. Of when. It, yeah. It's just, it's kind of cool to see Douglas fir at 4,000 feet. Right. <laughs> So we know that our native tree species do migrate on their own, but we also have a lot of research now showing that um, the speed with which they seem to be able to move, looking at you know, historical uh, data on those transitions, is not fast enough to, move, to keep up with the projected climate changes in the next 100 years. When you bring those species to different areas, first of all, they may bring insects and diseases with them to which local species are not adapted, or they might be very susceptible to the local insects and diseases. So we need to be very careful with that. I, I encourage people to do some experimentation. Yes, let's do this in urban areas. Let's do this at small scales. But I think it's too early to start doing it at the scale of hundreds to thousands of acres because there's a significant risk the farther you move a species from its native habitat. In the end, hopefully we'll have a large number of practitioners who are trying these ideas across the landscape in different landscape positions, uh, different microclimates, different soil types. Um, and I think that's where, in the end, we need to go to really understand how the ideas of assisted migration will play out. So let's see, it's probably, it's about um, 2,500 plants. We can't continue on adding carbon to the atmosphere, you know, adding greenhouse gases to the atmosphere the way we have been. Um, there's nothing that gets us off the hook for that. But at the same time, it is necessary to pursue these adaptation measures. there. Um, but we need to buy some time until in future decades maybe we, we do start bringing down the rate of warming and then our ecosystems will be able to respond more equitably.
Jelajahi cara baru mendapatkan informasi. Download Metro TV Extend sekarang.